Okay guys, it's me again, Paul P. Welcome to the show. I'm here in Paranaque, specifically BF Arguere. I'm checking out Richie's Diner. I got inspired to check a diner scene ever since I got to talk to Archie in Asia Pop Comic Con. And actually, I'm first. this is my first time here and I think by the look of the food and the menu, it's gonna be awesome. So, tara, kain tayo. And FYI, I'm trying to look my best look preppy but uh, I think I'm failing okay so let's eat okay guys so as typical diner scene here's what I got okay first I got their burger the Richie's burger I specifically asked them for a double patty double cheese no veggies just like Archie said I got an extra thick uh, chocolate shake got chicken and waffles again I love my chicken fried chicken and then Nutella stuffed French toast so we're going to start with most likely I'll start with a burger okay so let's go check it out okay guys uh, let's start with the first dish which is the burger look at that guys look look how cheesy it is juicy burger look at that it's actually oozing with cheese. I think I'm gonna need my spoon and fork for this. Okay. And their burger comes with french fries. As usual, I know a lot of purists would get mad at me for get doing this, but I'm gonna put ketchup on the side for my fries. No, for that. Okay. We'll try their fries first. Nice and crispy. Still a bit fluffy in the middle. But I find it. How do I say this? Uh, it's a good start to a meal. Okay? Now we'll cut the burger. Now let's look at that cross section. Look at that guys. Oh it's nice and gooey. Mm. Look at that. Yeah, huh? Now this is gonna be good burger. So I'll give it a try. How gooey that is. Okay. Archie was right. I should have listened to him from first but from first place, but it's really good. So the beef is nice, nice and crusty. The bread is nice and toasty. The cheese is gooey, really gooey. I think uh, the meat is nice and juicy. It's a bit well done, but actually I like my burgers well done, but it still comes out very juicy. So I don't care if it's not, if it's not medium rare or medium well. If, as long as it's extra juicy, I'm good. That's a good burger. I eat this with some fries. Okay. One of the reasons why I came to a diner is because during Asia Pop Comic Con, there was such a long line for the Pops Diner uh, booth in the Netflix area. I wasn't able to enter. All I heard was there's a Josie and the Pussycats there and stuff. Then after talking to Archie from the 
cosplayer, he told me you have to get a double burger and then you gotta get fries with it, extra cheese. I actually now believe him that it, this is really good. It may not be Pops' diner, but it, it's, re it's really, really, really good diner here in Manila. Then we'll drink some of the extra thick chocolate shake. Uh, that's good stuff. Okay, so I'll continue eating this, then I'll move on to the chicken and waffles next. Okay guys, let's move on to our second dish, which is the chicken and waffles. As you can see guys, it comes with one giant waffle. Yes, it's nice and crunchy. The whipped butter, the gravy for the chicken, and syrup. Truth is, I'm not a fan of the gravy, but I'll try to the chicken because they say it's good. But what I would like is put the chicken on top of this, then pour this uh, maple syrup on it so it will be nice and gooey all, all over. So, let's try this. Nice and sensual pour. Side. There. Put the waffle near me. There. Okay, first we'll try the chicken. We'll try it as is. Okay. First thing I notice is it's really crispy. Two is it's nice and seasoned. It's boneless, so give the chicken a try without any gravy or sauce or syrup. The chicken is nice and crunchy. It's nice and seasoned. It's not too salty. That's why maybe they gave you gravy so you can dip it in. But I think this will go better with this. Okay? But for comparison, we'll try to the gravy. Open up. Nice and chunky chicken. Dip it in the gravy. Look at that. It's nice, a sweet and salty taste about the gravy. It's really creamy. It coats the chicken really well and actually accents the flavor of the chicken. But I think this will still go better with the waffle. So we'll spread the butter first. Make sure to cover everything. There. Should find someone who looks at fried chicken the way I you should who looks at you just like how I look at my fried chicken. Just kidding. Okay. Okay, so we'll try the waffle first without any chicken. It's nice and dense. It's not too sweet. I find this it's nice and crunchy, yet, yet mm, fluffy inside.
I think I'll go for a second bite just to get a, bit, a better taste of it. Not a bad guy. Now we'll get a bit with the chicken. Get a bit of syrup on that. No, little bit that. Now for me this would be the perfect bite. Salty, sweet, chewy, crunchy. That's awesome. Oh god, this is really good chicken and waffles. So, it's almost as good as the one in beef. Can't say, sorry guys. You have to watch my previous episodes. I ate chicken and waffles before and I enjoyed myself there. This is easily as good as that one. Okay? I'll continue eating this and most likely I'll take half home won't be able to walk home or ride home because I'll be too full if I finish all of this okay and besides my mom's going to look forward to having some of this when I get home look at that gravy Okay guys, so here we are for our last dish. Yes, I know, it's only three dishes. Yes, I am actually limiting my orders for this episode. One, because uh, uh, I still have somewhere to go after this, so don't want to be too full. Two is, these dishes are really decadent and <laughs> ooh, I might not make it home. So. We'll start with the dessert, which is uh, Nutella stuffed French toast. Okay. Okay. That's a lot of Nutella. As you can see, guys, French toast is technically just toast. You can fill it with whatever you want. You can fill it with peanut butter. This time, they filled it with Nutella. You, what you do is you fill it not all the way to the edge. Put us make a sandwich, then slice it in half, dip it in an egg and milk batter with a bit of flour, and then you fry it or deep a pan sear it on a griddle so you get it's kind of somewhat like a mixture of toast and pancakes. The traditional way to eat this is you smother butter over it like so, and then. Look at that. Serve it with maple syrup once more. Look at that. Okay. I don't know if you noticed it guys, but we went from really savory to go with a mix of savory and sweet. So technique savory first, which is the burger. Then we went savory and sweet for the chicken and waffles. And now we're moving on to purely sweet. So, let's dig in. Take the first cut here at the corner. Oh, it's really filled with Nutella. You can really taste the Nutella. It actually overpowers the maple syrup. But it's so nice and decadent guys, look at that. You have to get more of the one in the middle where it's really filled with Nutella. But for me, this is really good. Because Nutella is actually hazelnut chocolate. That has that certain hazelnut flavor that I love. You can also find it in Frangelico with the liquor. And oh yeah, I forgot to eat. I'm not wearing glasses now. So actually really good. That's how much I love it. I forgot to wear my glasses. 
Okay, this one's more of the middle. You see, it's really the tail is dripping everywhere. Look at that. Mm. You know what? I'm going to technique here is you have to eat the outside first, outside rim, because the middle is so full of Nutella. If you eat the middle, everything else will just taste like plain bread. Mm. I find this dessert one of the most decadent desserts I've had. And I find it really good. I may just have a sugar coma later, but I think eating this would be worth it. So, I'll continue eating this. Wait, one more. We'll, we'll get a bit of the middle for you guys. Yeah, look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. So, you guys come here. Don't forget to try the Nutella stuff. French toast. It's so decadent. Mm. Well, the best desserts I've had in a long time. Okay? So, continue eating this. I'm going to take home half the burger and half of the, the chicken and waffles to my mom. And I'm going to give you the review of the place later afterwards see ya okay guys uh, here's my review of Richie's diner here in BF let's go with the five criteria location uh, service ambiance food and price we'll go with location it's easily accessible via public transportation you can take a Jeep or a or a tricycle from Sukat all the way inside Aguirre it's actually near it's actually along the main road of Aguirre here in BF so it's easy accessible you take a grab or well no more uber <laughs> you can take a grab come in here we can drive it's easily accessible by the main road so it's one I give it five out of five because of easy access now ambiance ambiance is awesome they have the authentic uh, diner style feel it has nice um, what do you call this sofa chairs actually no it's a, it's supposed to be booth chairs but I specifically asked for the big ones big chair it's awesome the checkered floor the <laughs> neon lights the diner smell the feel and you know what the very big bonus for this they're playing uh, 80s music here so it's a bit of a, a little bit forward a 1950s diner style but supposed to be 1950s music but all in all the music is awesome it's 1980s next I give it out of 5 out of 5 it's just so nice here not quiet it's a quaint place and I find it uh, I feel at home here okay now third food no we'll go back for service service the waiters here are so awesome they helped me out they actually helped they served everything when I wanted it they kept everything the shake was nice and cold uh, Ate was so helpful okay she lowered the volume everything everything I asked for they catered to it so thank you Ate for making my stay here awesome so I give it I can give it 6 out of 5, I'll give it 6 out of 5. So it's a 5 out of 5, always good on points. And second to the last is food. Uh, I'm gonna be biased about this, but my favorite dish here had to be the Nutella, the Nutella stuffed French toast. So good, so decadent. 
Second to that would be the burger. It's so juicy, super cheesy. And the uh, last would be the, actually second to the last, it's supposed to be the chicken and waffles. The last one would have to be the shake. The shake is awesome, but there's no whipped cream on top, so it's, it's okay. I added fat, so. Now, all in all, food here, I give it five out of five. Why? I'm actually a bit full from everything, but I didn't even finish everything. I only ate half of each because I'm bringing it home to my mom, okay? Second is, they served it hot. The cheese was gooey and everything. In other words, they served the food at the right time and they served it at so, so the quality of the food is so really I can't say it I just can't say it it's so good okay there's no words to compare it to so I give him a five out of five on that okay last but not least price for all the dishes here with drinks and everything else I got I paid a little bit under a thousand pesos which is actually very acceptable very affordable the portions are huge so and the service is awesome so I think the 1,000 pesos that you're gonna pay for it here is gonna be worth it okay so thank you for watching the vlog uh, this, is Paul, uh, this is Paul P of Always Good Tom Never Musog see you in the next one and by the way these have no lenses I'm just wearing this for props tried to look 1950s here but so <laughs> uh, thank you for watching don't forget to like and subscribe see you in the next one don't forget to follow me on instagram at paul always good tom never busog on twitter at paul always good tom and on facebook at always good tom never busog so till next vlog see ya kain tayo <laughs>